for the Jeff Bell Monologues live Saturday, July 20th, Asbury Park, New Jersey at the Paramount Theater. Tickets are on sale now. Go to ggutfeld.com for ticket information. And I can tell you there'll be some tour dates added for this fall. Details coming soon. Up next, Joe's is still up, Beto's still down, and I'm still awesome. <laughs> And now, The Greg Gutfeld Show presents the 2020 Can't to Dates. When you're no longer making a splash, no one cares about your trash. It's called opposition research, a common thing in politics. Someone's running for office, their opponent hires a firm to dig dirt on them. Unless you're Beto. Yeah, requests for dirt on Beto have dried up. No one thinks he's a threat anymore. The latest Quinnipiac poll... Love saying that. Shows Beto tied for eighth place with Amy What's Her Face. <laughs> Beto was third back in March. Now at the top, Joe Biden. In second, but losing a little, Bernie. But this week, North Korea said Biden was a low IQ idiot. Well, someone's learning from Trump. But not even North Korea can be bothered to troll Beto or de Blasio, who's been in the race for a week, and Democrats already know that he stinks. He scored the lowest favorability of all candidates. You see that long bar going in the down direction? That's, that's de Blasio's favorability. But that's among Democrats. That's among Democrats. Yeah, but if graphs aren't your thing, here's de Blasio's favorability in video form. Oh, I hate it when we do that just for a video. <laughs> R.I.P., Joe. Uh, no, that was not it. Everything's fine. I'm just making a morbid joke. Walter. Yes. Walter, the candidates. What are your thoughts so far of the Democratic field? Well, first of all, uh, Kim was not saying low, Q, low IQ individual in Korean. That was mistranslated. Oh, really? Uh, the word that he was using for Biden in Korean means the man with eight arms and hands. <laughs> uh, the octopus. Really, though? Yeah. <laughs> And in South Korea, it means hair sniffer. Uh, <laughs> but now let's move through the candidates. Yeah. Pete Buttigieg. Yes. Just a month ago, he was mowing lawns in my neighborhood, and now he's running for president. <laughs> um, also, he doesn't resemble Alfred E. Newman at all. No. He reminds me of that Bob's big boy guy oh, who had oh, the hamburger. Yeah. Yes. Now that's, yeah. that's Pete. The big boy. Yeah, he's mm -hmm. a big boy. Mm-hmm. Um, let's, what other candidates are there? Kamala Harris. Right. I don't know what to think of her. She's been nowhere. She was the front runner in a lot of what people were talking about earlier. Apparently, they have something on her. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. Um, Elizabeth Warren. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I don't want to be nagged, scolded, and, you know, treated like a bad third grader for the rest <laughs> of my life. I, whenever Elizabeth Warren talks to me, I feel like I've... School. Done something wrong. Yes. I uh, have to apologize. I'm not sufficiently virtuous. Mm -hmm. That's how I feel whenever anyone talks to me. <laughs> and, 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 I, and to her, I just want to say, modernize your haircut. Come on. Um, but, I, okay, who's the, who's the real front runner, though? Biden? Besides Biden. Uh, Sanders. Sanders. Sanders just keeps on going. But yeah. why are they deserting him? I thought young people loved him. I thought yeah. he was the new Beatles. And yet, what happened? Yeah, he's Pete Best. Now he's Pete Best. Yes. Uh, that's a little Beatles trivia there, uh, Dr. Drew. I, we just have a problem with aging politicians. Yes. We have a real problem. And people don't understand the, the process of aging is inevitable and inexorable. Mm -hmm. And these people are entering office at an age when, you know, yes. in my profession, you'd be pulling people aside going, hey, it's time to step out. I am not it's, planning on being alive. Uh, I, well, <laughs> that's a different <laughs> issue. But, but 